Hey, welcome to Tap Forge. I'd like to start this week by saying huge thanks to Jeff at Feeder Knives. Love the shirt, bro. Looks great. All right, today we're going to go over power hammers. We're going to go over essential parts. We're going to go over preventative maintenance. And finally, we're going to go over use. All right, let's get started. All right, let's do a quick rundown of parts on our 25 pound little giant power hammer. We've got our anvil, our die blocks, our hammer, our toggle arms, our tension spring, our crank plate, shaft, two Babbitt bearings, a flywheel and a clutch back here. We've got a motor right here and on the very bottom we have a foot treadle. How this machine works is when we apply power, the motor applies power to the flywheel. The flywheel is always spinning. That's our kinetic energy. When we press down on the foot pedal, our clutch engages the flywheel. Now, as we engage the flywheel, our crank plate turns, and that draws the hammer up and down. Now, how hard I engage our foot treadle is gonna be how much power is transferred into my material. If I barely engage it, I can kiss my material, tap, tap, tap. If I press full down, I get 25 pounds per blow. Boom, boom, boom. It's really as simple as that. Let's go over power hammer maintenance. Power hammer is a very simple machine. It requires one thing to run properly and for a long time. Oil. Lots and lots of oil. I mean this thing should be covered, dripping, spraying with oil. We oil every single link. We oil the cups. We oil the shifting collar. We oil the clutch. We even oil the treadle arm. We oil everything. It should be dripping. Now, every hour we reapply oil. It, it cannot be understated how imperative it is to have an oiled hammer. That's the number one thing you need to do. This machine will run forever. Keep it oiled. For use. Power hammer is really easy to use. First things first, safety precautions, ear plugs, eyes, wear them. You need them. Second thing second. Don't smack down die to die. See that in there? That's not good. Don't do it. If you're going to test out a power hammer or you've never used one before, try it with a wood block. Hard. Kisses. That's really about it. There's a lot of things you can do with the power hammer, but that's the basics. I'm going to grab a piece of hot metal Shove her in there and show you what she can really do. really about as easy as that. All right, well that wraps up our power hammer demo. Uh, once again, that was a 25 pound little giant power hammer. Great for setting welds, great for general forging, a little light for heavier work, but it still gets the job done. Thanks again for stopping by Tap Forge. If you liked the video, please subscribe. If you didn't, let me know about it in the comments.